السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان دس سیشن وی ول ڈسکس کرنٹ سینس رجسٹر ان فلائی بیک پاور سپلائی واٹ از کرنٹ سینس رجسٹر وین وی سی دس فلائی بیک کنورٹر اٹ از یوزنگ ایکسٹرنل ماسفٹ ان سیریز ود ایکسٹرنل ماسفٹ فار ایگزامپل وی ہیو دس ماسفٹ ہیئر there is a resistor that is used to measure the current in the primary positive 300 volt dc this is our transformer how much current will flow from this capacitor negative terminal to the positive terminal through this winding of the transformer through this mosfet it is used to protect the design it is used to protect the transformer converter and it limits the current at a specific level how it works basically it is a question from one of my viewer crystal services i have question about smps current sense problem he said i am measuring with multimeter but when we assemble it does not work let's start basically first of all we will see its calculation and then we will check practically we will reverse engineer this design here it is using 0.33 ohm resistor and it is 12 volt 6 ampere that means 72 watt we will use this data and input voltage 110 volt we will calculate the resistor value and then we will see how it is working So we have output volt 12 volt output current 6 ampere p out that is v into i output voltage into output current it is 72 watt when we discuss about any converter any supply we consider its output power all the calculations will base on this power this uh, rating so v in minimum here it says 110 volt minimum so we say this converter will provide 72 watt at minimum input ac voltage for example it is it is claiming 110 volt excluding ripples everything we will consider 100 volt so 110 volt minimum we will take 100 volt value so when this is the value the v dc minimum what will the dc voltage at this capacitor at dc rail that is the minimum value so in this case 100 volt into 1.414 that is 141.4 volt dc this is our second requirement 72 watt at minimum minimum dc voltage at dc rail at this capacitor so this is the worst case scenario when the line voltage will drop at minimum level we will take maximum output from this converter so second thing we want to know the frequency we will check the frequency practically pin 5 and pin 6 which is kilohertz here it is pin number 5 and this is pin number 6 it is 101 kilohertz we can say it is 100 kilohertz it is f operational 100 kilohertz when we know the operating frequency we need to determine the time period t is equal to 1 over f f is 100 kilohertz 1 over 
100 kilohertz that means it will become 10 microsecond so this is the total time of the wave shape each cycle will 10 microsecond on time vs off time it is UC3843 DCM converter so maximum duty cycle in this IC can be used 48% so maximum duty cycle 48% we can say 0 0.48 so maximum turn on time from here to here it will 0 0.48 into T or we can calculate directly 0 0.48 1 over f the same we use this value or we use this 10 microsecond so if we say 0 0.48 10 10 raised to power minus 6 it will 4 4.8 microsecond t on maximum these values will be used for calculation move to next page now we find output power DC del voltage maximum time period for one cycle and maximum turn on time 4.8 microseconds out of this time so we will receive 72 watt at this DC del voltage at this time period total out of this time period this is the turn on time this time this will allow to flow the current so we will need a pulsed voltage from this resistor this is I sense resistor how we can find the value to find the value first of all we need to find the inductor value of the transformer primary inductance because when we apply power and we apply a timing pulse here turn on pulse it will cause to flow the current how much current will flow it will based on the value of this inductor so we need a proper inductor so that the current will be controlled in the primary side now we can find the inductor value so L primary because we want to know the value of the inductor because when we will give a pulse here how much current will flow at this voltage level in this turn on time 4.8 microsecond how much current will flow it will base on the value of this inductor because at this frequency 100 kilohertz it have to provide inductive reactance so when the inductor will provide it we need to know the inductor value L primary it is V in DC minimum T on square 2.5 for the converter into time into P out 0.90% convert efficiency so it is 141.4 4.8 microsecond 2.5 10 microsecond that is the turn on time into 72 watts into 0.9 it will triple bracket 1.4 141.4 volt multiplied by 4 point we will take square the whole square 4.8 10 raised to power minus 6 whole square bracket closed divided by next bracket 2.5 for the converter 10 10 raised to power minus 6 10 microsecond 
multiplied by 72 watts bracket closed final 0.9 it is 0 0.000230 0 0.000 230 it is 230.330 micro henry this is the inductor value when we have this inductor value now we can find the peak current in the primary side here that is very easily i peak primary that is v in minimum v in dc minimum t on divided by l primary it is 141.4 volt time on is 4.8 microsecond L primary is 230.330 10 raised to power minus 6 it is 141.4 multiply it with 4.8 10 raised to power minus 6 divided with 230.33 10 raised to power minus 6 so it is 2.94 ampere current 2.94 6 ampere peak primary current so this current its wave shape must be like this so this peak in the primary side it can reach up to 2.94 ampere when we when we will apply 48% duty cycle so it will cause to reach at 2.94 ampere now we can see the MOSFET it must be approximately the double value so it is 5 and 60 5 ampere 600 volt that means so our calculation is exactly perfect because it should be around the double value or above than 150 percent so it is 5 ampere that's good now when we have this current value we can find the resistor value now we know in 3843424445 this series of IC we need current sense amplifier it needs 1 volt when this current will flow 2.94 ampere through this resistor it should drop 1 volt that is the maximum current so this resistor will translate that when it will drop 1 volt it will translate that 2.94 ampere current is flowing in the primary in the MOSFET to the winding so we can check we have 1 volt and we can find the resistor value R is equal to V over I voltage we have 1 volt this one and current that is 2.94 946 1 divided by 2.946 so it is 0 0.339 ohms 0.339 ohms let's check the resistor value so it is using orange orange silver it is 0 0.33 ohm that's nice so it is the exact value of the resistor if we will select the next higher value that is 0 0.47 ohm so this is the exactly it is 0 0.34 so with the tolerance it is 0 0.33 ohm that's nice so this resistor will provide 1 volt when the maximum peak current will flow in the primary now our friend said that he is checking this voltage with multimeter no any multimeter when we test with multimeter 
it will give the RMS value. But in UC4, UC3843, these ICs, these used the peak voltage. You have to measure the voltage with oscilloscope. If you will test with uh, multimeter, it will not give a correct reading. Now I connected the oscilloscope across the resistor and I will power on through this isolation transformer. I turned on the oscilloscope and it is ready. It is 1x, 1x from the channel. So this time with no load it is measuring 100 millivolt with no load when the load will increase these voltage will increase so here it is measuring 116 millivolt with no load when the load will increase these peaks will increase so this IC will detect these peaks so we must take care, we have to use oscilloscope or we can adjust the level of these peaks. If we are selecting another resistor, then we have to use another voltage dropping resistor to connect to the ice and spin of this IC. So in this way we can calculate the resistor value and we can give the proper feedback, we can calibrate it. I hope so this video is informative, if it is informative hit the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.